Welcome to Exquisite. In this class, we will be learning about the last type of image formed by a concave mirror. That is, when the object is placed between the principal focus and the mirror. Okay. So, as usual, we start off with the concave mirror and the principal axis. Then the center of curvature, C, the principal focus, F, and the pole of the mirror, P. The object comes right there, between F and P. OK. A ray parallel to the principal axis, will pass through the principal focus. Correct. And a ray passing through the center of curvature, will return through the same path, after reflection on the mirror. Good. Ah. Again, the reflected rays don't seem to meet. Yes, if you continue the lines in that direction, they will not meet. But do you notice that if you continue the lines, they will meet in the other direction? Yes, I see. Good. That is where the image is formed. Oh, I see. This image is virtual because it is formed at the back of the mirror. You are right. And this is the only case in which a concave mirror forms a virtual image. Okay. A concave mirror forms a virtual image. Only when the object occurs between the mirror and its principal focus. That's correct. Do you also observe that the image is upright? Oh, yes. This is also the only case in which we have seen the image of a concave mirror to be upright. That's true. I like to give you this hint. Virtual images formed by mirrors are always upright, while real images are always inverted. Is that so? I am beginning to realize that is true. All the previous images we studied, were always real and inverted. I get it. Real images formed by mirrors are always inverted, while virtual images they form, are always upright. Correct. But does this hint apply to all types of mirrors? Yes, it does. Whether the mirror is concave, convex, or plain. So long as it is a mirror, virtual images are always upright, while real images are always inverted. Okay. Now, how about the size of the image? The image is magnified, because it's bigger than the object. Correct. And where is it formed? It is formed behind the mirror. Good. That brings us to the end of the class. Before we sign out, can you give us a summary of the characteristics of the image formed by a concave mirror when the object is between F and P? Yes. 1. The image is upright. 2. It is magnified. 3. It is formed at the back of the mirror. And lastly, it is virtual. Great. In the next class, I will teach you an interesting trick. You don't always have to draw the ray diagrams to figure out how the images of a concave mirror will appear. It will be a good summary of all we've been doing. I will show you a smart way to know how the image will look like, even without making the ray diagrams. See you then. Thank you Sensei. Please, if you are watching, don't forget to click the subscribe link on our channel. It is completely free and lets you know when we upload new videos. Plus it's your little way of promoting our channel. Thank you.